Hello friends, it is Danny, and today I'm going to be doing another bullet journaling video. This time I am doing my November flip through and December plan with me. Even though it's like the 2nd of December, I have done my December spreads in my bullet journal. Uh, I'm showing off my Tombos just because I had them near me. Basically, I'm going to be showing you the spreads that I did for December. There are six spreads that I'm going to be showing you today, all of which are Christmas themed, so I'm excited. When I last filmed a video, it was November, obviously. So this is my November tracker for this month. I think I did pretty good on journaling. I did pretty good on writing. Um, studying. There were a few days where I didn't and obviously the part that I am slacking in is reading and I blame that on this and this. I have a weekly that you guys have seen. I use this spread for all of my weeklies in November. Then I have my nano tracker which I didn't hit 50k. Um, I also didn't fill in the last couple of days so I have to do that just so I have it but I did keep up with filling in the books. This is all spoilers and it was my nano information page. Then there's just more of these. There, It's literally like I had five of them this month and now we're to now which is December and so December is probably my most creative month that I did by myself all of the spreads are ones that I've created myself I'm kind of obsessed so this is my title page I found this font online and then learned how to do it all of these spreads were made with these Tombow dual brush pens um, I mainly use the lime green and the red and the blue uh, to fill it in and then these two have been used already. My title page obviously has a Christmas tree and fancy December writing and a little sprig of holly because I couldn't resist. This is probably my most adventurous page that I've done and I created this all by myself. Um, I came up with the idea to use snow globes as my tracker for this month and then inside the snow globes I've done 31 little squares in the shape of a snowman head. I'm hoping that, like I've outlined the hat and then these are the first two days of December. So what my plan is, is to fill in each of these like squares for the hat and then I'll probably outline this in gray and then as I'm like, I'll draw in the face after I've colored this in. It'll be a very colorful snowman hopefully. Um, and I have that for the four things that I tracked last month as well as this month, which is reading, writing, journaling, and studying. So then the next page, I totally just didn't have to put these Kleenexes in to hide my gifts, but the next two pages are trackers. This is a countdown to Christmas from 1 to 25, so 25 being Christmas. Um, I've already colored in day one and day two. And I really like how this font turned out and this one I'm getting better at it I think well not so much this one but this I feel like I'm getting better at and then I have my gift tracker over here which underneath these Kleenexes are the gifts I like this font as well a name column and a gift column and then name and gifts are in those separate columns I honestly would probably not use this tracker method again. It just gets really, really small to write a lot of presents for people. So I would not advise this method. Uh, I would definitely try and do like separate lists for each person. I'll use it for future reference. Then this is my weekly for now. Well, technically we're on Sunday, so we're in November's spreads, but this right here is one of my favorite weeklies. I really, really love the vertical spread because I don't have a lot to write in um, my spreads, but I need to have like appointments. So like these are my two doctor's appointments for next week, no, the week after next. Um, so I have a notes section down here and then I just, I freehanded some stockings. By freehanded, I mean I traced some stocking outlines and then colored them in and I did the alternating green and red. I'll get to know my entire life when you see these weeklies cause I'm too lazy to, you know, not fill them in after I film this video. Um, but then the next page is also another weekly but it's a different layout. So I wanted to show you this one as well. It's 11 to 17, but instead of stockings, it is Christmas bulbs and I actually freehanded these. I kind of wish I had a found a way to color them in a little bit more, but I think this simplistic way looks better. I'm also going to put a little notes section down here. I just haven't done that yet. And then I don't have anything else. But my plan for 
the next two weeklies. This will be 18 to 24 and this will be 25 to 31. As you can see, I write in my pages what I know what's gonna be there. So I'm sure I will break out some like candy canes and something else that's related to Christmas. Um, maybe some presents or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll put presents down here and have the list going up. I don't know. But those are the only two weeklies that I haven't filled out. And then the next page is obviously going to be January. So that has been my really, really quick bullet journal flip through December plan with me. I've been keeping up to date with my index up until the page, two pages that I haven't done yet. And uh, yeah. That is it for December. I can't wait to do January's. I feel like I'm getting a lot better at making my own designs, which is always exciting. Comment down below which one is your favorite spread. I honestly think that mine is probably this one. <laughs> like this, these two just are so aesthetically pleasing to myself that I'm just really happy with them. But comment down below your favorite. Let me know what other bullet journaling videos you guys want to see. I do have a bullet journal haul. Let me know what spreads you think I should do for January. So far all I've got planned for January is the title page and the tracker, but I also need to do a semester two for school. Um, and I'm definitely, I am definitely going to be avoiding this method because as you can clearly see, it uh, has not proven to be very easy to read. That is it for this video, you guys, and I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that is. Bye! Thank you for watching my video. Hope that you really enjoyed the show. Hit the subscribe button down below and go and read some books.